Methane, like carbon dioxide, is an important greenhouse gas that's contributed to about one-third of global warming. In recent years, atmospheric methane levels have reached record highs, while fossil fuels, agriculture, and landfills make up a large percentage of human-caused sources, about one-third of methane emissions actually comes from wetlands. What you're seeing here is a visualized data set of wetland methane emissions from around the globe throughout the last several decades. These highlighted regions are of particular interest because of their concentrated wetland methane sources, which scientists are working to better understand. Wetlands act as both a source and sink for greenhouse gases, which means they both release and store them. Wetland habitats are filled with things like waterlogged soils and permafrost, which is what makes them sizable carbon sinks. But as a warming climate causes wetland soils to warm or flood, carbon is released into the atmosphere as methane. Methane is produced when there's a lack of oxygen available for tiny carbon digesting microbes that live in the soil. So in wetlands where flooded soils are deprived of oxygen, those microbes that would have otherwise produced carbon dioxide instead produce methane. NASA uses remote sensing to monitor methane emissions from wetlands through instruments like EMIT aboard the International Space Station, airplane-mounted instruments like Avaris ng and satellites like Landsat and Europe's Sentinel-5P. Locating and measuring the sources of atmospheric methane is key to understanding how to limit them so we can make better decisions for a future.